Honorable Prime Minister Samuel Hinz, Mrs. Hinz, Mr. Kumar Rapnot, members of the government, tips, presidential candidates, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a great honor for me to stand up here today and to present to you the project that Repsol is conducting in Guyana. First of all, I would like to briefly introduce Repsol as one of the major players in the oil and gas business. Please give me a second so I can come into this system. I would like to go with my presentation and the speech using some uh, help from uh, the computer so you can be uh, illustrated a little bit more of what Repsol is doing uh, globally in Guyana and uh, specifically in this project. As uh, many of you already know, Repsol is one of the biggest oil and gas companies in the world, one of the 10 biggest, uh, by the way. We have operations in more than 30 countries. You can see on this uh, slide uh, highlighted all the countries in which we have operations. Operations that are formed by more than 40,000 people that are employees of uh, Repsol worldwide. We have businesses in all the value chain of the oil and gas, starting from the exploration itself, passing through the production of oil and gas, going into the retail business of selling fuels and lubricants in the refinery business and in the gas business with the LNG. We effectively operate in places where are not easy for any other businesses. These two here are examples of uh, the exploration commitment that we have in places like Brazil in South America or like the United States or Alaska in North America, just to name a few of them. And you can see on this slide that uh, we are pursuing heavily exploration activities in these two countries. Each of the little magnifying glasses that you see in the slide are different exploration activities. And those that has the drilling uh, rig uh, sign are the production ones. As I was mentioning, we are very successful operating in places as difficult and different as the Sahara Desert in Libya and Algeria, or in the cold New Brunswick in Canada, where we have the first plant to gasify, liquefy gas in America. And it's coming out from precisely this area, from Trinidad and Tobago. There's where we put the gas into the tankers and send them back to Canada. We are also very successful operating in the Argentina and Patagonia deserts, or in the deep waters of the Gulf of Mexico, or in the forest of Peru, the Russian Federation, and what brings me here, offshore Trinidad, Suriname, and Guyana. In the same way, we have a big commitment to diversity. And this has made us to employ more than 70 nationalities people in our operations. And more than 27% of all of these people are women. And one thing of which we are very proud is the approach that we're making into the disabled employees. 600 disabled employees only in the Madrid office, our headquarters. And we are looking to increase, not only in uh, uh, the headquarters, the employment of uh, disabled people, but also in all, all operations worldwide. 
In the Caribbean region, we have the headquarters located in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, and this overlooks the operations in uh, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, uh, Grenada, and Cuba. And uh, additionally to that, we have a exploration headquarters in Houston that overlooks all the North Atlantic basin uh, of this part of uh, the world. And that is precisely the office that takes care of the project that we are handling here in Guyana. Searching for oil in uh, Guyana is older than the countries as an independent state. The attempts started in 1916, almost 100 years from now. And uh, that was the first onshore well, just two years after the discovery of oil in the neighboring Venezuela in 1914. The first exploration well offshore in Guyana, and I highlight this because what we're going to do here is offshore, was drilled in 1950. And uh, since that date, approximately 25 new wells has been drilled in Guyana alone. And I would like to highlight here a uh, detail about the maturity of an area on regards of oil exploration. As I mentioned, 25 wells has been drilled in Guyana. And until now, unfortunately, no oil or gas has been discovered in economical quantities. And you all know about the North Sea region. The first discovery well was the number 71. So it's not disencouraging that we are on the 25 and not finding nothing yet. Uh, yet. Uh, there's still a uh, road to follow, and we can be more successful or more lucky than in uh, the North Sea and find oil here much, much uh, before than the 71 number well. There has been many companies working here in Guyana since that date, as well as in the neighboring countries, like we. Repsol that has operations here in Guyana as well in Suriname, and YPF, our subsidiary from Argentina. But there are companies here like Canacol, like CGX, that has been operating for some time. But in the past, also Golf and Total and Elf and Noble Energy and uh, Petrohunt, Exxon, Shell has been working around here and looking for oil. In Guyana, Repsol arrived in 1997, that is uh, more than 10 years ago, with the name of YPF Guyana. As I mentioned already, YPF is our own subsidiary from uh, Argentina. Uh, since that time, a huge exploration project has been active, but unfortunately, we were forced to interrupt the project during seven years, the time that the border dispute between Suriname and Guyana take place. And on the year 2007, we were again on stream and restart the project to bring it to the stage in which we are now. Our plan now is to drill the deepest well in this region, offshore, going down to a depth of more than four miles. And operating under conditions that are technically challenging. This is what we in the industry call an HPHT well, meaning a high pressure, high temperature well. And when I say high pressure, I'm talking about 17,000 PSI pressure. And when I say high temperature, I'm talking about 400 degrees. So the type of equipment that we need to use to go ahead are specialized tools that are not regularly used in other wells and uh, that need to be uh, under uh, very stringent performance conditions and to provide the information regardless of that. Just 
second. I don't want to show you that yet. Um, we will be drilling this well in the Georgetown block that has 3,735 square kilometers. And uh, as I mentioned earlier,